I recently attended the Outdoor Retailer Trade Show in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a place where lots of outdoor gear brands come to showcase their new stuff and try to sell it to retailers and tell media types all about it. I put out a video a couple weeks ago about the best new budget camping gear finds I found there, but today I want to show you a few more things I discovered. In this video, you're going to see some new versions of gear and brands you probably already know. So come walk the trade show floor with me and see what I saw. Gear up and get outside. This is a design from Canyon, and they have this ridge here specifically for rafters and whitewater folks so that that can sit right on your frame, and that just makes it a nice design element for that, so pretty cool. A newer kind of day pack, soft cooler, it's like a dry bag style. Yeah. Uh, it's insulated in there. Hold a 12 pack hold for the day. You've got it a lower price point, just made to hold ice for the day. You've got the Nomad series over here, much thicker insulation. Yeah. It'd be your two to three day trip. What's this one? Is that also uh, a Nomad, or what do you call that? version. And then our outdoor line is definitely our main series. Um, just freshly redesigned, launches tomorrow. Sweet. I, that's a nice yeah, latch improvement. Fitted to a metal bar, so it's much more rigid. Don't yeah, that's cool. side tables. And those are accessories you guys will yep, sell with? Exactly, yeah. We upgraded the drain plug on these as well. If you take out the small center cap, fits your standard garden hose. Oh, so sweet. You can use that to drain it. But you kept it um, female on the drain, which I like. Yeah. Good call. And then I, you can unscrew that whole yeah. thing so if you want to do it. Just a quick drain. Bigger. Sweet. Yeah. After I made the smaller fire beaner, I met with some search and rescue folks, and they asked me to design some theme for first responders. Okay. So like, I never never sell on fear, but I sell on empowerment. Like, you see a bad accident, why don't you go help yeah, somebody? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, so, so this is an... Uh, you said just a beefier version, it's got the window with the glass yeah. breaker and glass breaker. Breaker. Oh, all right. a seat belt cutter, but a cup, a this cup is an O2 nice. wrench, so imagine if you're like ENT oh, oxygen tank, yeah, opens that valve yeah, up, right. that's a bit driver, I'd like a common quarter of bit driver, if you need to turn some screws you can. I'm typically using it for my camp shows, I get the, get the fire going. Yeah, all right. All right so, and then if you need to burn, like get a camp fire going, wax infused cotton, or cotton ball and a Vaseline yep. are great. Yep. I tell people the spark comes out between the hump and the wheel, so aim it between there, throw a spark, and then you get a fire going. Yeah, so, well, pretty simple and easy to yeah. do. There's your key striker, um, just a simple carabiner for guys who like to keep it simple. All right. Perfect. Yeah, and what does this one run? Uh, it's fifteen dollars with the, the fifteen key bucks the, yeah. with the whole kit. Mm -hmm. Sweet. This is a Teton tent that mounts right on top of the cots from them. So, designed to go on here. They got a one-person or a two-person version. Keep it elevated above, so it's called the Vista Quick Tent. So it is kind of a quick setup. You can also use it without the cots, of course. The White Duck Altimus tent. So they just released this last fall, and it's doing pretty good. A little different than a typical bell tent because it's got the higher walls, screen mesh all around. What I like about it compared to the Regatta 360, which I have, is it comes with an integrated stove jack, so you don't have to DIY anything if you wanted that. Granted, the regular Regatta also does, it's just the 360 that doesn't. And then you've got this duct here for an air conditioner. So if you're doing one of those portable air conditioners, that's a pretty sweet little feature. But looking here, six foot one, I got way more walk around space in this tent than I do in most others. So very cool. And a little lantern or light post. I love that touch in their tents. So this is the third generation Max Pump. Okay, cool form factor. That's a little different. It's completely new design. So what's the... Uh... Okay, there's your air. Yeah, the pressure is stronger than the second generation. Okay. Up to 5 kPa. So and also we can buy the lantern function together. Oh nice, okay. The Max Pump 3 is new. And what's the retail price on this? $49.99, okay, $50 roughly. And here is a kind of a larger just home for inflatable furniture or large air mattresses or something like that. And this you advertise for bikes. Oh, that's, that's nice. Ooh, I like that. I should get one of those for my bike. <laughs> 
The stowaway rocker from GCI Outdoors. And what's going to be the retail price this on is that? Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. All right. Nice rocker. It's got a good uh, kind of middle ground, rigid arms, but a soft pad on it, which I found very comfortable. You can swap your accessory pouch to the left side if you're a lefty. But the frame is all new compared to GCI's others, and I really like that. It folds up so nicely and compact. Even the back falls down. Cool. Yeah, just looking at these uh, wheels on the Orca. Now, this is one wheeled cooler I haven't tested yet, but the wheels are an interesting design. They're nice and big, but because they're open like that, they kind of spit the sand out as you're cruising on the beach, so that's really handy. Plus, they can still manage a, a very high weight capacity on it if you're standing or sitting. And that's the wheel is only in the 65 quart. Only is that correct? 65 quart. We'll expand it um, over time. Here's Orca Soft Cooler, and instead of a zipper that can get all gummed up in the sand or get caught in your clothes or your hand, they've got these latches, and they keep using a freezer-style gasket here, which is pretty clever. Um, of course, a rigid plastic rim here. That's going to give you a much tighter air seal compared to a lot of the other coolers out there. And as a shout-out to their hard coolers, they even give you that accessory pouch on the back. This looks like a real nice one. What are these retail for? Oh, no, this is 180 for this one. 180, okay. Yeah. And that's a what capacity? Like a this is 12 to 10 liter a, or something like that? A 12. That's a 20, 24 this can is, 24, is the yeah. idea. Oh yeah, the fishermen are going to love that. Nice. So they got these elastic bands and their shoulder straps, so you got some slack there. That way when you got it loaded up with ice and drinks, it's not going to jar you all the time. That's sweet. I like that. Cup. Okay. Yeah, it weighs uh, 48 uh, grams. Wow, yeah. 48 grams. And it has yeah. a lid. It has a lid. So you yeah. could even you could cook in it if you want. That's all yeah. you need. That's great. So all titanium, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. 450 milliliters. Yeah. Yeah, all right. There's the one everybody knows and loves. Right. Yeah. So it's a Okay, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Will keep the part of the warmer the for longer, yeah. yeah. And also you can still hold it. So yeah, we choose very good material. Okay. So you can still hold it very comfortably. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, and remind me, the, what's the MSRP price, the retail price on the pot? Uh, $26. And then what's this little... This uh, will be about uh, 8 or $9. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah this is not yet in the market. It will be one or two months. Thank you for making affordable gear. Sure. No There's so many That's companies that do not make affordable gear, and it's hard. Yeah, we do our best. Yeah. And what's the price on this new one, this small one? $22. Okay. $22. That's right. yeah. ultralight hikers are going to love that. Right. And then when I go to the trail days, a lot of people ask for the bigger prize. Yeah. They want to use this clay. Yeah, this oh. place, yeah, but it's not even, so... Sure, yeah, it makes it a little it's, tricky to... Right, so we got this bigger one. So this one, we have one version without the handle, yep. so you can use the clip and the with handle. To use the handle. New tripod from Tokes. Yeah. So if you want to do a cooking version, and then it breaks so it, down to this. Right, so this is two pieces. So you can just make it out. Yeah, nice. And then you can just... Like a 200 grams. 200 grams. 200 grams. Is, and that's all titanium? That's all titanium. This chain is also titanium. Okay, wow. Yeah. Another interesting update to some backpacking gear you're probably familiar with is the Climate Static V sleeping pad. Now this is very popular at a pretty affordable price point and it's not necessarily new, but this year they're adding some new colors and they also went through the ASTM certification process to standardize the insulation. So now the Climate Static V insulated sleeping pads have an ASTM verified R rating of 4.2. Climate also came up with a new and updated version of their popular car camping sleeping pad, the Climaloft. This time it's insulated with an R value of 7, which is pretty high and should be good even in the winter. So are there any of these updated gear items that you're excited to check out? Let me know in the comments. Then if you haven't seen it already, go watch the other video I did at this trade show where you can see some more budget-friendly camping gear. Most of it's budget-friendly anyway. It's new stuff coming out and some of it's pretty interesting. Then gear up and get outside.